Assalamu alaikum viewers this is Sanobar Sultan and i hope that my channel is bringing a little bit of knowledge to your set of ideas today i want to talk about an interesting societal attitude towards a stigma that is blaming the victim for being a victim i will break down this topic into components for easier understanding for you all these components include firstly what is victim blaming secondly why people have a hard time believing that someone they know could be a criminal thirdly secondary victimization fourthly concept of davo d a r v o and lastly what can we do to end victim blaming dear audience firstly what is victim blaming basically it's described as the practice to hold victims responsible for what happened to them that perhaps had they done this said that not done that etc then what happened to them would not have happened what the public is missing is that in real time when something is actually happening people's thinking process is different as compared to a third party listening to an account much later than when it actually happened secondly why people have a hard time believing that somebody they personally know could be a criminal this is because these are individuals whom you share daily life with you have experienced moments of joy or sorrow you focus on their achievements and empathize with the criminals because you just cannot fathom that these people could actually be monsters for the victim this is also a defense mechanism for those close to these offenders because they want to reimagine a past where these crimes never happened thirdly and related to earlier discussion is the concept of secondary victimization felt by the victims this happens from the societal response to being the victim in the first place society responds with statements which are demeaning blaming questioning the authenticity of the victim's account enough for them to think that remaining silent is a better option fourthly let's talk about what these criminals and perpetrators do to present their narrative they use a concept known as darvo which is deny attack and reverse victim and offender role what do they do they deny their actions they verbally or otherwise attack the victim they reverse the roles and try to present themselves as a victim of public scrutiny sounds preposterous doesn't it lastly what can we do to end victim blaming it is all in how society responds to victims and by creating a psychological shift in our thinking you should show compassion not disregard the victim and most importantly not criticize the victim which leads to double suffering to the innocent you must also understand that hearing a backdated story gives you the audience a better position to say you could have done this or that differently compared to when something was actually happening in real time thus we need to clearly differentiate and understand who is actually to blame for the crimes of course the criminals themselves dear audience i shall bid adieu now after this thought provoking topic and uh, i hope that i have added a little bit of food of thought food for thought and create the necessary discussion in society it's just that we have to know that sometimes justice is not served and uh, bad things can also happen to good people so that's just the way life is so if you like my videos if you like what i have to say do watch and subscribe to my channel and i shall hopefully see you all next week or maybe later let's see bye bye